families that are uh, our church is just continuously growing and uh, I wanted to introduce Ralph and Terry Schnelli their daughters Jill, Ani, Nikki and little Craig this morning. Craig is going to be dedicated uh, to the Lord this morning and also we've got the Smara, we have Nick and Mary Beth and little Gianna and little Salvatore. So Salvatore is going to be dedicated this morning. And just so you all know, um, and Grandma. I'm sorry, I almost forgot Grandma. Um, yeah, they're that's a, a critical part of the family. <laughs> um, so this morning, what we're doing is we're basically uh, making a, a pledge together. Uh, these moms and dads have expressed their desire to really um, raise their children in the fear of the Lord. Um, they, want, they, they have a great desire to see these precious little ones uh, come to know Jesus as uh, their Savior. And uh, they're also asking in a way for the prayers, encouragement, and help of us as a congregation to come alongside them and uh, help them in that, that very uh, serious and special endeavor. So this morning, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some vows to these moms and dads. And uh, after I'm done, all you have to do is say, we'll do it, I do. So let's read these together. Do you recognize that you and your child belong to the Lord and that he has the sovereign right to rule your lives together? Do you desire to dedicate your child to the Lord for his use, unhindered by your personal ambitions? And do you commit yourselves to teach and lovingly discipline your child to fear the Lord, helping him or her consider the Lord above all else and honor him first in all things? And I really like this last one. Knowing that the first picture of Christ that your child will ever be able to understand is the one that will be mirrored in your lives, will you endeavor to so walk before your child that you will be able to say at any time, follow me as I follow Christ. If you're in agreement with these vows, say I do. I do. All right. We do. You may now hug your child. <laughs> <laughs> and last but definitely not least, um, I want to ask all of you up in the audience, all of you who are members of this church and part of our Grace Church family, Will you commit to praying for, encouraging, and coming alongside these parents and their children? If so, say, we do. We do. Amen. So let's, let's pray together. Let's lift these little ones up to the Lord. Father God, we thank you so much for the uh, amazing, miraculous gifts of children. They are truly precious uh, in, the, in the sight of moms and dads, but even more precious in your sight. You know... Um, every day of their lives. You knew them before they were even knit together in their mother's womb. You know the number of hairs that each of them has on their head. And so God, we just thank you for uh, this precious gift. Father, we thank you that as moms and dads, uh, we have the opportunity to give that gift back to you, knowing that you are truly the, the absolute best parent, spiritual parent that they could ever have. So, Lord, we just commit Craig, we commit Salvatore into your hands. So Lord, we pray um, earnestly that they would, as they're older, and have the understanding, uh, put their faith and trust in Jesus as their personal Savior. And, Father, we pray that these two little guys uh, will one day serve you uh, with all the gifts that you've given them. And, Lord, we also just want to pray for Ralph and Terry, for Nick and Mary Beth for uh, the extended families, for our church family, that together um, we would know how to nurture and give wisdom and love and care uh, to these little guys. We thank you, Lord, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.